Hey, Barbecue TV, this is Charlie Barano. I am the city manager of Greenwood, South Carolina, and we are at the beautiful Uptown Greenwood here at the 18th annual South Carolina Festival of Discovery. We are a Kansas City Barbecue Society sanctioned event with a $25,000 payout. We started in a humble beginning in 2000 with five barbecue teams. We started by watching the Blue Ridge Barbecue Festival. Many of you remember the Blue Ridge Barbecue Festival, and that's where we learned a lot about barbecue and, and, and putting on a contest. There, we met Mr. Stephen Smith and Mr. Cliff the Judge Welch, and they were our first two uh, certified uh, reps, and so we learned a, told, uh, a ton of from them. And then about, I don't know, 10 years ago, Stephen uh, introduced us to Carolyn Wells, and the rest is history. And so we've, uh, we've done really well over the last 18 years. Uh, again, we started out with five barbecue teams. This year, we will have 92 barbecue teams from about 10 states, mostly southern states, a lot from Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, our presenting sponsor is Carolina Pride Foods. Carolina Pride is a wholesome pork producer and company located right here in beautiful Greenwood. They have been in Greenwood for over 90 years. In addition to the barbecue, we put on a blues uh, festival. So it's called the Greenwood Blues Cruise. We'll have 26 blues artists here over the three to four days of the festival. All of that is free. Um, those blues artists are national and international artists that come in. And instead of it, it's a blues cruise, like I said, not a boat ride, but a club crawl. Uh, and so folks get to enjoy the barbecue and then go inside uh, and enjoy the, the restaurants and venues there. We um, average about 30,000 people that come into our beautiful city, and the festival has an economic impact of over $2 million. So uh, it's very important that we put on this festival for our local economy. You can learn more about the Festival of Discovery by visiting our website. That's festivalofdiscovery.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are always the second weekend in July. So we would love to have you come visit us at the South Carolina Festival Discovery. Discovery in Uptown Greenwood, South Carolina. Hey, my name is Avery. I'm Camden. We're in Greenwood, South Carolina. We're making meatballs for the kids' queue. What are they? What's in them? With cheese stuffed in them. How many times do y'all practice? We practice three times. You feel good about it? Yeah. Are you gonna win? Go team! We are judging the Anything Goes, and right now we're judging the dessert. Um, we just had like a really cool kind of like, what would you say, it's like a taco tostito thing, and then we had, what else did we have? We had a little pizza that had pineapple on it, which is really good, and then we had like this like sausage mac and cheese. I'm a mac and cheese girl, so it was really good. And then we had a good old shrimp and grits. So everything so... You know, I, I can't be... Yes, you I, can pick a favorite. Oh, I'm going to have to go with the mac and cheese just because I love mac and cheese. Okay. Like, that's right. that's my thing. Being fair. That's fine. But it was all really good. So I'm excited to see the dessert. I'm in Greenwood, South Carolina. And what I had was some type of sausage wrapped in bacon. And it was very good. And then we had a bell pepper with a rice and something in it, which to me reminded me of corned beef hash. And it was delicious. And then we had a, a scallop on a bed of uh, rice, I guess that was. It was all good, but I liked the, uh, Which one did the, you like the, the bell pepper. Okay. It was delicious. Hey, okay, my name is Sonny Davis. I'm with Greenwood Development. And um, of the three we had with the sausage and the pepper and the scallop, I think I like the scallop better over the rice. I'm Donna Reynolds, um, I'm with Pepsi, and I had the sausage, Ashley. the bell pepper, and the scallops, and my favorite one. <laughs> I'm Dawn Hamby, I work at Carolina Pride, and absolutely, 
Um, what was the first thing? Because I didn't know what it was. Salt and coffee sauce. Okay, we Which had. What did you like about it? The pepper was delicious. That's all I need to know. Your turn, Ron. Okay. Hey, I'm Rhonda McAllister with Greenwood County, and I'm we're in Greenwood tonight. And I think we had scallops, we had a pepper, and we had a sausage and bacon. And my favorite was by far the pepper. It was delicious and had lots of cheese in it. Hey, I'm State Senator Floyd Nicholson. Glad to be here tonight. All of the food was delicious. They got all nines. And I'll tell you, you just need to come on down to Greenwood and have a great time at the Barbecue and Blues Festival. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Hall from uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Came a long way to taste your wonderful barbecue and desserts down here. Um, having a great time here in Greenwood at the uh, Barbecue and Blues Festival. <laughs> yep. Hello, I'm Jeff Wilson from Abbeville. And the first time here, and I absolutely love it. Love being a judge. and. Everything was nines. Thank you. So you plan on coming back next year? Absolutely, we'll be back. You're up. Who you are, where we are, and what you ate. I'm Herbert Martin, and I'm glad to be here from Greenwood. And uh, this is about my fourth time being here. And uh, they had a gorgeous uh, atmosphere and, and a great deal of food here. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tyler Smith. I'm from, or we're at the uh, barbecue festival here in Greenwood. And I ate um, some chocolate cake, some ice cream, and some cheesecake. It was incredible. This is five relatively good pieces of chicken. Um, the first one had uh, some good smoke, um, was cooked good, uh, properly. I, I thought it had too much sauce on it. Um, the second one, the skin was tough, came right off. Um, the third one, the skin was very tough, it completely came off, um, and the chicken underneath was kind of bland. Um, number four, uh, was was done pretty well. Um, and number five, the drumstick was my favorite. Uh, I thought that was done just about perfect. Okay, I thought number five was the best. It was um, very tender, had a real good flavor, uh, good smoke flavor. And number four was the worst for me. It was seemed like it was overdone. It was kind of mushy and didn't have a real good... Uh, barbecue taste to it. I think number one and number five were excellent pieces of chicken, well cooked, uh, tasty. Uh, number one had a little more pepper taste to it than the others. The second was tough, the third was tough, and the fourth I thought was tough and marginal. I'd have to agree. The first one was uh, was um, what am I out here? It was a bit spicy, but it had good, very good texture. It was a little oversauced. The second one was tough and salty, kind of dry. Third one had a very unique flavor, but it was really tough, super tough. And uh, the fourth one felt like it was a uh, bit undercooked and kind of bland. And that fifth one was my favorite. That drumstick was. Real nice, real tender, had real good flavor, real good bite. Um, the first one I thought was a bit uh, hot and oversauced. Uh, second and third were too tough. The fourth, everything was good, but it was a tad bit bland. And the fifth one was my favorite. First one was unusually tender. I thought it was very good in that sense, but it just lacked any flavor at all. It was just tasteless. Second one is extremely tough and tasteless. Uh, it was probably the worst of the samples. Well, no, I can't say that. The third was. 
I'm assuming the third was a vendor that just had to enter because it was not arranged in the box very well. It was tough and the flavor just wasn't there. Fourth one was an outstanding. That was a triple nine and I hardly ever give a triple nine. That was uh, clearly the best one on the table. And the fifth was a drumstick, which are normally tough, and this drumstick was very tender and very flavorful. It was a very good drumstick, which is unusual. Fourth was clearly the, the most professional of the whole bunch. My favorites were um, number three and number four. I had two favorites. They were both delicious. They were tender, um, real good flavor. <clears throat> And my least and least favorite was number two. It had had good flavor, but it was undercooked. Uh, my favorite was number five. Uh, it was very tender, uh, had a very good taste to it. My least favorite was number one. It was very tough. Uh, could not even get the meat to pull from the bone. I'd have to label number three as my favorite on the flavor. Very tender, very good. Uh, number one would have been very tough, hard to pull. My favorite was number five. You could uh, bite through it and get to it. Uh, the uh, number one was my least favorite. It was very dry and overcooked. Number five was my uh, favorite. It wasn't too... Uh, dry or anything so that made it a uh, halfway decent the rest of them are pretty uh pretty sad they all have a very off flavor but the worst of them was number one they was extremely dry the uh, fork itself didn't even really want to go through it i'm gonna have to agree with everybody else five was my favorite i thought it was pretty good it had a good flavor number one was my worst it was pretty tough so um the first one I thought the tenderness was great, nice and juicy, but it was a little bit on the bland side, could have used a little bit more flavor. Um, the second one was a bit dry and tough. This was one that had kind of a haphazard appearance in the box. It wasn't very appetizing to look at, um, and again, it was uh, a little tough for me. My favorite was the next one. Um, I thought that that was nice and juicy. Uh, tenderness was superb, and it had a nice uh, flavor to it uh, with the pork flavor really shining through on that one. Um, and where are we? Number that um, was was good. Um, there was something of, about the appearance I remember. Uh, the fatty vein was exposed, and I got a bit of that in the money muscle when I uh, chewed into it. But overall, the flavor was good. And then finally. Um, the last one, there was uh, an off flavor to that one that overpowered uh, the meat taste. And there were chunks of fat in the money muscle, too, that um, really affected the tenderness score. I would agree with those comments, especially on number four and five of the money muscle. Uh, that uh, sinewy cartilage than the money muscle had not yet rendered down, so it wasn't as good as bite as it should have been person was a bit bland. I've mostly because it was fairly moist and I could taste it. I could break it. The other four were so dry I couldn't even eat them. And I thought the flavor was okay. I enjoyed number five as well. Um, it didn't have a lot of artificial um, sauce. It tasted like beef. Uh, the there were three others that uh, the presentation was not very very good uh, and they were very dry I like number five also the others were seemed like they were extremely dry and uh, it just didn't have any uh, moisture at all Number five had a lot of good flavor and uh, it seemed to be tender. Uh, the rest were somewhat dry, weren't easy to pull apart, uh, a little chewy. Uh, my name is Donald Thompson. We're in Greenwood, South Carolina, and we are about to taste South Carolina hash. Which is? South Carolina hash started years and years ago with slaves down on the east, uh, on the coast, um, trying to find a way 
to put something along with their potatoes and their rice to make a more hearty meal. And so they started using um, lots of other um, meats to uh, make what was, had come to known as meat gravy. And uh, it has since then developed into um, something that most people use, um, primarily pork um, is what it's made out of mostly. And um, there's several different ways that people make it, uh, different recipes, things like that. Um, it is a time-consuming process to make. It takes hours and hours to make it. And, um, but a lot of people serve it, still serve it over rice or they serve it with, um, in a bowl by itself or they eat it with um, saltine crackers. Uh, my name is James Jester. Uh, I'm from here in Greenwood, South Carolina. Uh, and I think out of the five samples that I had, probably my fourth sample was, was the better of the five. Was it the texture or the taste? Or the taste? Uh, it was the texture and the consistency of it that was more what I'm accustomed to. Okay, that's what I wanted. This... My name is Jason from Williamston. Uh, I really like the consistency in number four. I like the flavor in number two. My name is Ann and I am from Anderson. And I like number two. I thought it had the best flavor, the best consistency. Did you want the least? And I like number five the least because the flavor was very different from what okay. you normally taste in with some.